Fatma Gaiti Ahmed, commander of the Kenya Air Force. History was made when President William Ruto appointed Lieutenant General Fatuma Gaiti Ahmed as Kenya's Air Force commander. Lieutenant General Fatuma is a woman of many firsts and once again becomes a trailblazer in the Kenya Defense Forces by being the first woman to serve as a service commander in the history of the KDF. Lieutenant General Fatuma is the first woman to hold the two-star and three-star general ranks, the third and second highest ranks currently used within the KDF. Concerning the Kenya Defense Forces, so help me God. She now will become the country's first woman service commander and the only woman to sit in the Defense Council. Previously, only Defense CS Rachel Omamo was the only woman to sit in the Defense Council. Meet the new Kenya Air Force Commander Lieutenant General Fatuma Gaiti Ahmed, who is the first highest ranked female officer in the history of the Kenya Defense Forces. While hundreds of officers in Kenyan history have held the rank of four-star general, three-star general, and two-star general, only one has been a woman. The aim of this training has been to transform them from civilians to military officers and prepare them for future leadership of the Kenya Defense Forces. Currently, a few women in the KDF hold the rank of brigadier. Lieutenant General Fatuma, since 2015, is the highest ranking female officer in the history of the Kenya Army, Kenya Air Force, and the Kenya Navy. She was first known when retired President Uhuru Kenyatta promoted her to the rank of a brigadier. The Kenya Air Force officer, aged 58 years as of 2024, was then promoted by retired President Uhuru Kenyatta to the rank of Major General in 2018, making her the most powerful woman in the KDF. Since then, she has served as Assistant Chief of the Defense Forces in charge of personnel and logistics, and until her appointment as the Kenya Air Force Commander, she served at the National Defense College as Senior Directing Staff Air. Prior to the appointment, she had served as the first female brigadier in the country, and as of this year in 2024, she has served close to 41 years in the Army. Lieutenant General Fatuma and other female officers in the KDF have broken stereotypical views of serving women officers, leaving the door wide open for others to follow. She and other female officers play an important role in inspiring and mentoring junior female officers. She has previously also served as Battalion Second in Command, Staff Officers 2 Audit Personnel and Records, a colonel personnel at the Kenya Air Force headquarters and managing director of the Defense Forces Medical Insurance Scheme, DEFMIS. Lieutenant General Fatuma, who was born and raised in Meru County, was enlisted in the military in 1983, aged only 19 years, and first served under the Women's Service Corps. The Women's Service Corps was dissolved in 1999 and women reintegrated into the three KDF services of Kenya Army Kenya Navy and the Kenya Air Force. The mother of three is a graduate of the National Defense College. She holds a Bachelor of Arts degree from the Catholic University of East Africa, Diploma in Management from the Strathmore University College, and a Master's degree in Social Transformation Management from the Catholic University of Eastern Africa. The military has often been portrayed as a career for dominantly males. However, females in the Kenya Defense Forces have taken up and succeeded in opening up space for females. There will hopefully be many and brave women who will follow in the footsteps of outstanding and dedicated Lieutenant General Fatuma in service to the country. Considering most officers currently in the highest ranks in KDF joined the forces in the 80s, it is by design that very few women are at the top of the military. Women were first recruited into the Kenya Defense Forces in 1971 when the Women's Service Corps was created but prevented from serving full-time in the military. 
restrictions remained on women's military service until 1999 when the women's service course was disbanded. Officers in the military who have served with her say that you should not be fooled by her small body stature or her calm and soft-spoken demeanor. She is a tried and tested military general. I, Fatma Gaiti Ahmed, commander of the Kenya Air Force, do swear in the name of the Almighty God that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to the Republic of Kenya and to the President as the Commander-in-Chief of the Kenya Defense Forces that I will obey, preserve, protect, and defend this constitution of Kenya and all other laws of the republic, and that I will protect and uphold the sovereignty, integrity, dignity of the people of Kenya that I will diligently serve the people and the Republic of Kenya without any fear, favor, bias, affection, ill will, prejudice, or any political, religious, or other influence. In the exercise of the functions entrusted to me, I will at all times and to the best of my ability respect uphold preserve protect uphold and defend the constitution a people and the republic of kenya and obey all laws orders regulations directions and instructions concerning the kenya defense forces so help me god <laughs>